Hello friends, I'm Autogadius Magnus, and actually this is pretty pretty even. I think I have a, like a full stack here, yeah. So we're gonna fight this. I don't know how well we're going to do, but we're gonna give them a bloody nose at, at any at any rate. So let's go ahead and fight. We do outnumber them. They have cannons, however, which could be a problem, but with buildings and whatnot helping to uh, block cannonballs and, 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 and such, we should be able to win this without too much problem. My only concern is actually not their cannons so much as their cavalry. They will be able to outmaneuver me. But fighting a defensive battle like this, I will have uh, barricades and, and all sorts of things to hopefully keep their cavalry off my case. And I do not have any cavalry, which means that I can maneuver without any real problems around barricades and all sorts of lovely things. So we'll see how this works. I think it's going to work okay. I'm not really that concerned. If we are beaten, I will just first uh, attack uh, another Ottoman settlement. I'll take Bucharest. And, and from Bucharest, I may actually come back, or I might just go ahead and destroy the rest of the Ottoman Empire and then come back. I haven't quite decided yet. It depends on kind of like what they have elsewhere. But I think we're, I think my chances of winning this are relatively high, at least 70%. All right, let's take a look at the settlements. We would be on high ground as well. It is relatively well defended as well, and I can control everything in my rear as well, and we do have a balance of power in our favor. All right. Main thing is not to lose my general. I do not have any defensive barricades. Why is that? Hmm, okay. Right, so basically, I'm just going to have units kind of peppered in everywhere here. So I could just put you like this. That would basically keep an eye on both of those potential ent entrances. Um, I'm going to have a forward defense and then a rear rear defense, I think. Do I want anything in this area? That'd just be throwing men away. Could be. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. <clears throat> I'm going to put some men here. And I'm going to put you here. And I'm going to put a unit guarding your flank like this. Okay, maybe like more like that. No, not so much. Let me see here. Let me see. Let's go like this then. Back to back, kind of. I know it's kind of funny looking, but it'll work, I think. I hope. Okay. Here you. You here. There. Um, here, we're going to put... What? Probably like that. I know it's overlapping, but whatever. Okay. I'm really most concerned about cavalry charges again, so I want to have some depth. Um, there. And uh, here. Can we not? Wow, what in the hell is that? No. I no likey. Okay. That's weird. Okay. Can we go like this? We can. Okay. I could put a unit maybe like this. We get more overlappage, but I think I think that's not a big deal. Okay, that's going to be really kind of crazy looking, but you know what? Whoa. My neighbor <laughs> just just hacked a big loogie. All right. You can be like this. Why? Just because I want some flank protection. And I still have so many men left. Wow, that is pretty ridiculous. I have a big reserve. Let's take you, friends, and just put you in reserve back here. I still have more. Wow. And my general, let's put you in this reserve back here as well. That is a big, big poten potentially a very large flanking force. How many more units do I have? I have <laughs> five more units. Yeah, if we lose this, it's going to be because I'm stupid, not because they have any advantage. Okay, and um, I have a, units there. I have a flank force here. I have reserves there. I might just actually put you friends out here. In which case, in which case, in which case, I don't really need this army, this unit there. Let's just put you like this. Really, I don't have to worry too much about being flanked. Well, that's nice. It's a rare thing. In a defensive struggle. All right, like that. And I'm going to put you just like that. And I think that that looks pretty decent. They are going to have to fight their way you know, tooth and nail. Let's get going. And I have a reserve. My only concern is that their cannons would be able to... T oh, I didn't have anything here. Let's take one of my reserve units. Move you here. Which kind of defeats the purpose of having this unit here. So let's move you then more on the flank like this. Moron, yes. Run. You can run as well. Yeah, I'll probably lose some units of militia, but I'm not too concerned. Let's get going here faster. Fasting forward, or fast forwarding. Fasting forward, yes. 
Fast forwarding. And yeah, they have guns. Their guns will probably do some damage. But again, I'm more concerned about their, their cavalry than anything. And settle in, folks. This is probably going to be a long battle. Why? Because I'm probably going to have to go all the way out here and destroy their cannons with infantry, which will be costly and time-consuming. So, at any rate, they're just doing a cavalry dance out there. I don't know what they're doing. It looks like they don't even know what they're doing. I'm going to take you and spread you out to the end of the map, because I can. Where is the end of the map? Uh, that is a long line that I'm going to need there. All right. Let's take you, friends, and spread you out like so. Can I get you all the way there? I can indeed. All right. Not Kennedy. I can indeed. Okay. Candide. Come here. You come here. Yeah. Come here. Hey. Hey. Oi. Oi. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oi. Okay. Hey. Okay. Regular speed. <laughs> okay. It's kind of confounding me. Confound it. Okay. Come here. There. Good stuff. I like that better. That's cool. Okay. Let's fast forward again. Ooh, my neighbor just continues to hack big loogies. If they're not going to attack, then they're not. There's no time limit. What the hell? They're going to make me attack them. Well, that's dumb. Should I? <laughs> I'm in a pretty defensive posi defensible position. I could just move my army forward. Yeah, let's do that. I don't want to wait. Just because just because I don't want you guys to all be bored. All of my all of my watchers here. Alright, let's bring you guys out. I know I spent all that time. Now they're being stupid. I don't understand why I have to attack them. But that is a long line of infantry. Good lord. <laughs> We're stupid. Okay. Well. How are they going to react to me attacking now? Are they moving? They're not moving at all. Weird. They're they're attacking me. Why do I have to be offensive? Strange. Anyway, I don't think this changes much. We still should be able to defeat them. Our line is longer. We can destroy their cavalry, hopefully. It's just going to be time-consuming getting my men here. I don't want to run them either. I could run them for a while. Let's get you all running for the time being. Just to make things happen a little bit more quickly. Yeah, they did not hit R. I did not hit R. Why? I, I did hit R. You will not run. Why? Why will you not run? Okay, there we go. I had them run for a bit anyway. Although they are moving their cavalry a little bit. I don't know what they're what they're doing. I was trying to pull my infantry out. Well, I, I, I know what they're doing. They're trying to pull my infantry out. But weird. It's very strange. They are firing cannon, but it looks like they're hitting their own horse more than anything. If I can get all of my men in position quickly, the cavalry could actually break me up piecemeal here, so maybe I should pull my men back first. Yeah, I'm going to pull my men back first, have them line up like this. All of them line up first. Let's get all of you running. All of you running. Okay. And then we're going to advance walking in a long line. So we're not going to be picked apart by the cavalry, because if that if a gap appears in my line, they're going to probably assault me with cavalry. Yeah, that's kind of kind of dumb. I should have should have should have done that right away. All right, so we're moving into position. There's a gap there. That's my general. I would actually like to keep you back if possible. Let's move you back and hide you behind. And the reason why is because militia gets very jittery when their general is gone. Everyone else, however, <clears throat> let's get you to continue moving forwards. Uh, Shift. Thank you. And now we can walk. We're basically into position. Let's get you up. Go. Move. Move yourselves. We are getting hit with cannon, but I've got so many men. We can we can we can withstand some losses due to cannon fire. I don't really mind so much. It's their cavalry that's going to be a problem. And they are all after all that dancing, you still have exactly the same formation. <clears throat> and now they are coming after us with cavalry by the look of it. Let's... Oh, they're not. They're hitting their own men, I think. They did not. They should have. <laughs> they 
The cavalry has been dancing in front of their guns for a long time here. Turn over my men. I want to get you all running. General, I want you to run. Okay. This is so far going okay. I mean, we've taken some casualties, but we do have well, we do have numerical superiority. Yeah, they are hitting my men over here. But once we get into into range, we should be able to tear up their cavalry and their cannons. It's just we're gonna suffer suffer lots of casualties, but then I can disband a lot of these units because I won't really need them. Let's run. Wait, I didn't have you selected. Well, that's that's a problem. Let's get you running now. Boom. <clears throat> Once we get into position, everyone gets into position. I'll go back to uh, regular speed. All right. So we're being fired on. I do have units in position now. Are they moving against me? They're just doing a cavalry dance. It's just really strange. They are advancing now with some cavalry. Let's go to regular speed. Let's outflank their cavalry. We are into range. The cannons are causing me some difficulties, but yeah, I don't care. Let's advance like this now, like so. We are getting hit. Oh, they're actually firing over the top of us now. If I whittle down their cav, they're going to be in big trouble. And they're just standing there with the cavalry. They've already taken 20 losses. Fire faster. Firing into their flank. Killed only one. That entire volley, and you killed only one. Killed only two. Not too accurate, are you? Oh, okay. You Franz are moving as well. They just move in a general advance, but, you know. Or wait. I'm going to pin down their left flank. We have pinned it down. They're just not moving. I don't know what in the hell is going on. If the AI is just being retarded or what. Okay, let's move here now. Actually, I could move all of you. All of you, actually. Let's take you. A longer line, like so. Now, they are charging. They are getting beaten up. They can go ahead and charge all they want. They're not going to be able to do too much. They're already worn down, beaten down. And even though they are fighting militia, they are outnumbered. And if we remove their cavalry from them, they're going to be in big trouble. These flanking units can start moving up into this area right here. I have so many flanking, I have so many units, I have extra flanking units. This is weird. Charge. Kill them all. And more cavalry trying to move in. Now they've thought better of it. Now they are going to charge. Can we defeat this cavalry? It would be wonderful if we could. I would enjoy it quite a bit. I'm hitting with me with canister. I could charge their cannon. So I think I shall, even at risk of creating a gap in my line. Let's get you, can I select you, thank you. Let's charge their cannon. How do you like that, huh? Yeah, all right. Over here, run. Out of, out of melee into fire at will. I'm gonna get units now behind their cannons. <laughs> So strange. Okay, you friends are doing nothing. Let's let's just mass cap mass infantry charge. I guess I've got them encircled. They let me do it. It's really dumb, but whatever. Let us charge cannon. Go, you Franz. That's one benefit of having just lots of men. You can actually come here. Go. <clears throat> Is that you can just charge all sorts of. Fools with all sorts of stupid crap and win. I know, I don't care. The general, if we can kill the general, that'd be wonderful. That unit is getting beaten down. You guys are just eating up cannon shot. I don't care. I don't even care. Let's move you in now. Run. Should have beaten them by now. We're fighting cavalry, we've destroyed that cannon. Your friends can move up a little bit farther. 
fire upon these fools. You too, though. I want all all five of you. Move. Move and seize. You guys made a mistake. Someone say steak. Okay. And now... I could just charge all of you. Let's do it. Let's just charge. Go into melee. Kill them all. General, let's bring you up. Uh, no. What? No. No. Get into here. Charge here. Boom. You charge here. Yeah. Who else do I have running backwards now? You friends. No. General. Run. Right here. I don't know why that happened. Anyway. We've got them encircled. We're just going to kill them with, kill them in melee. That's fine. I don't even care. You can watch some of the animations. I haven't watched any animations this entire campaign. It's really hard to watch the animations in Napoleon. I'm sorry. It's just things happen so quickly. And even though we're going to suffer atrocious casualties, we are going to win. Yeah. We've got them surrounded. We're going to bull rush this cannon. It's going to be wonderful. It already is wonderful. It is glorious. Let's destroy this cannon now. Go. Go. Gaps appearing in my line. Doesn't even matter. They have really nothing to exploit it with. <laughs> Firing at me point blank with cannon. Let's charge the cannon now. The unit of cavalry has been engulfed completely. The general's pissing off. I don't blame him. The infantry is running away. Good. You guys are getting overwhelmed. Gravy train. Oh, he's coming back. Look at him go. Overwhelmed them. Overwhelmed these fools. We kill the general. General, don't kill. He's. You're not my general. I mean, kill the general. Die. Let's get you to hit in the rear here. That unit of infantry piss off. They are. They're getting their infantry the hell out of dodge. We are firing at them. Run. You friends can continue to kill their general. It'll take a while, but we'll win. What a weird battle. Okay. This is like... It's like a Total War Rome 2 battle or something. Anyway. Yeah, we're going to get away with some units, but that's not right. Where do these units come from? What? And they're running away, too. Okay. I didn't know they had reinforcements. Did they? Were they there the whole time? It's just weird. The general is dying, and I like that. That unit is gone. I like that. Where are all these, these units just materialized out of nowhere? I didn't even see them. They're hiding? Is it right? Yeah, they're going to think twice about attacking me now. The general is dead. It makes me very happy. I know. They're fatigued. Shut up. I know. It's not, it's not anything new to me. Are you trying to go back to def more defensible positions, or are you just running away? I think they're running away. Yeah, probably a smart move. I know you're tired. Shut up. Hey, friends. Gonna go like that. We don't need all of you. Fast forward, see what happens. Yeah, they must be running off the map. Yeah, I have no cavalry with which to exploit the situation. But they're running away, and I think we taught them a lesson about... <clears throat> attacking the attacking the French. So heroic victory. Yeah, well not very heroic, but we did defend our settlement, and uh, I could chase after them potentially, and then disband a bunch of units, and that's probably what I'm going to do. Thank God I have done my duty. Okay. All right then, and yes, Horatio Nelson, you did do your duty. Dying at Trafalgar. All right, so we lost, yeah, more men than they did, but we had so many more men to lose. I mean, we could afford to lose. I'm going to take this army, basically, Olivier. Let's go attack. And can I just auto-resolve? I can. And then what am I going to do? Actually, I won't, I won't uh, disband you all just just yet, just in case there's another, another um, army somewhere around here. This we should be able to just auto resolve, right? Yes, we can. Goodbye. Boom. Mine. Occupy. All right. So this. Let's fix it. Good stuff. And 
That is now mine. Mine. My Bucharest. Mine. And they have only one settlement left. Now, my question is, what shall I do at this point? Um, <clears throat> I have Napoleon in Lodz. Let's get you into Warsaw with your army, where you belong. Um, I have a spy here. Let us move you forwards. The Russians are being stupid. You don't hate me, do you? You should not hate me completely. Yeah, you don't like me at all. Okay. Well, we might not have to wait. We might not be able to wait then. Bezla has nothing in it. Danzig, this is Russia. Okay. I could start moving some of my armies. What is this? Army? What is public order here? It's quite good. Let's just get rid of you. I don't need you. And I, need, I could use the money. This has got an army in it? Really? I don't need you. I hope. I do not. Let's disband. <coughs> Excuse me. And I could start disbanding some of these units, but I'm going to wait with that. Simply because I'm a little bit concerned that the Ottomans might have some units around here somewhere. So I'm going to use my spy. Kind of dig around here. See where they might be. Um, this spy is here. They have very little in Moldavia. I could go ahead and attack Austria as well, and I probably shall. Let's take you and move you north. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Venice, we have, I believe it's Messina here, yes. And I could take, I probably will. Do I have an army here too? Really? I don't need you. Go away. Um, I'm going to take probably this army. And we're going to take, this is who? Bernardo, oh, that's right, he just fought there. I, I wish, actually, I might take this army and actually move it out of here. How is public order? Not fantastic. Let's see, if I move you out, what happens? Not bad, actually. Okay. Let us move you to the west, because I'm, I have a feeling that I'm going to have to fight Spain if I fight in, in Italy. And here I have two armies that will be able to deal with Italy. So that shouldn't be too big of a deal. Um, do I want to move two armies west, or should I want to build another army? I could recruit another army. Do I want to? I have the money for it if I want to do it. I could also build an Arco de Triomphe and a small star fort, but I mm, don't think that's necessary there. That is Michel Ney. Recruitment. I could hire a general, potentially. How do I do that? I forget how to do that. I forget how to do that. How do I do that? Yeah, I'm going to have to research, try and figure out how to recruit another general. Do I have to recruit an, an army first and then recruit a general? Is that how it works? I can't remember. Anyway. Anyway. We've got lots of units here. Well, three units here. Um, lots of 12-pounders. What am I recruiting? I have two more units of 12-pounders also coming. A unit of Torrent. Yes. And Glenady. Okay. We'll probably move them up to Warsaw. I am going to change Napoleon's army army's composition a little bit. Let's go to my agents. Why? Just because I want some variety. You are down here. Let's move you to the south and see what they have in Italia. Excuse me. Um, you will continue to patrol this area. Probably right about there. Keeping an eye on the Swiss. The Balkans, I don't think I'm too worried about now. We can see most of that area. Um, you were also in Ramella. I've moved you, though. Oh, that's the same guy. Okay, then. You were in Austria. Do I need two spies here? I might actually move you back towards Aust like Austria, Austria, where Austria really is. This is what? An Austrian army of one unit. An army of one. And Estonia and Lithuan Lithuania. Let us continue marching you forward just to kind of take a look and what might be out here. The Swedes have St. Petersburg, which is very interesting. Um, Napoleon, you're in Warsaw. Voltigeur, okay. Dabu, you're in Bucharest. I could move you forward. How would public order look if I did that? It would look like if I did that. Negative three, zero. Can you get all the way to this place right here? It looks like you can. 
Would we have to fight that? I don't think we would have to, would we? I could. Although we are nearing the end of this episode. I, I'll fight it. What the hell? Okay. I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> if you could not tell. So... It is now 1807. I believe this campaign goes to 1812. We would have plenty of time, I think, to do lots of wonderful and amazing things. I might actually just, once I... I might just try and pin the Spanish down if they do declare war upon me when I attack their allies. And then... But their allies are way down south. Yeah, I might just go piece, piece by piece and try and cut apart Italy. I probably will. I probably will. Why not? I know I just got... Just got alliances with them, or peace with them, but I'm just going to break the peace. I don't even care anymore. Napoleon, we probably send you against uh, the Austrians. And then um, push into Russia and probably pin, pin the Spanish down. Invade when we can. After we get finished with Italy and Sardinia, or sorry, Sicily and Sardinia. Yeah, they do have Sardinia as well. Then I'll probably take at least one army and move it back to the west. And uh, then we'll probably be able to push into Spain a little bit more. This is actually going to be a little bit more complicated than I thought with this damn terrain like this. Uh, weird terrain. My cannons are not going to be that useful. Where should I put you? I could put you here. But that's really close to my foes. I could also put you here, but that's really close to my foes. They do not have any cavalry, but... I might just put my infantry in a long line. Like so. And then spread them out when I'm able to do so. So just protect my cannons. They don't have anything really that they can charge me with. And if I don't get... Oh, another unit. And if they don't... Uh, I mean, if they can't break my infantry, then I don't really care. If they do cause trouble for my infantry, then I'll just bring my cannons up. And we will use them. So I'm just going to attack in a long line. Very simple. Very simple tactics here. Uh, Ndavu, let us put you here. You fans be on the right flank. Yeah, I shouldn't even be fighting this. I mean, I even show you all this battle. It's because I think it's going to be so easy and also because I've been playing this is at 27, the 27 minute mark already. Finally, cannons. Actually, it's auto-resolved. But I wanted to fight one battle. One more battle this episode. One battle that mattered. But it doesn't really matter. Alright, I'm going to put you f probably, if I need to, I'll put you on this ridge. I don't know if I'm going to need to, though. Let's select all of my infantry. What was that? A gremlin or something. Okay. Let's move you friends forward now. All of you just in a long line. Do not need to run right yet. This is Lancier. Let's get you on the flank. Up on top here. Let's get you running. Chasseurs foul. Could get you operating on this flank too, I suppose. Let's do so. You can walk though. I'm not too worried. I'm not too worried, bro. Alright. And, um... You Franz, let's get you back behind here if we need you. We'll have you there. Alright, infantry, you're moving up. Let's have everyone run, I think. Get into position. Yes. You're now running. And it's making me happy. My lancers are in position. Already. Because they're on horses. One good charge from the flank, I think, ought to do it. I would like to be able to just destroy them with cav with uh, cannon uh, cannons, but you know what? Whatever. I don't even care. I have Chasseur on the flank. That's going to be wonderful. It's going to be very helpful. We already have outflanked them, so let's take you three units. And those are the three units on the flank. One, two, three. Okay, so let's move you up now. Like so. And you're running. Good. And I have Chasseur's Fall also. Is that firing happening already? Very cool. Can we... I cannot see how you're going to be spread out here. There we go. Okay. We are firing. There... Someone's firing. We're firing. They're firing. Both are firing. Okay. Chasseur, you're tearing some stuff up. We've already shattered that unit of melee. Wow. You guys are just brutal. They're a bunch of... bunch of brutal people. Let's move you forward a little bit, so I can get both units firing. We are in a long, a long line, which does make us a little bit uh, vulnerable to charges, but 
I mean, we're tearing them up completely. Faya. Lancier, if we need you, you'll be here. Chilling out. Doing things that Lancier do. <coughs> Which is what? I don't really know. Machine gun fire over here. Yes. Chasseurs are like machine gunners. Are you running? You are. Good thing you're light infantry. Infantry light. Okay. Come here now, friends. Can we not have it break in our line? No, we have to have it. And you have to also overlap, too. That sucks. That sucks. A big fat one. There we go. That's a little bit better. Run. I know you've been running a lot, but... You know what? Suck it. I don't care. Chasseurs are just chewing people up. They've destroyed so many units already. Look at them. Just look at you. Just look at you, bastards. Look at you go. You go, friends. Let's get you on that flank like that. Lancier, do they have any garbage in here? I don't see any. Ooh, you're trying to flank me, aren't you? You tricky bastards. Crafty sons of... Yes. Sons of disses. Sons of this. Come here. Why can you... Okay. Now we're going to have to probably protect here. For the time being, anyway. We've got them surrounded. That is a general unit. Moving up on my chasseur cheval. I'm going to have to refuse. Flanky flank. We fired on the flank there, but we're winning everywhere. You Franz, let's get you in you as well. You, wow, you can really God look at the range on those guys. Those guys are amazing. Let's move you forwards. Run. Are they charging again? They're shouting anyway. Yeah. Alright. And let's see. Get your friends in here. I kind of want to do something with my cavalry, but they, they break before I can really do much of anything. Are we firing upon them? Chasseur Fall, you should be. You are. Chasseur, let's get you closer in here. Kill the general, which is always a good thing. I don't remember the last time that was bad. Run. Chasseur eating people again. The city of line, or you hitting that that uh, hill a little bit. Let's get you up here. Yeah, go. General is dead. Their unit is broken. We just send a cavalry charge, so I think we shall. Let's go. Let's go have some fun. Victory. All right. So that was more fun than I thought it would be. I mean, it was easy. It was fun because it was easy. I could do lots of just really elementary things there, like just stop flanking and firing in a long line and just enjoying myself in general, so excuse me, alright, lots of crazy bodily functions today, losing my voice continuously have a hiccupy problem, and uh, other things such as that mosquito flying around so we have destroyed the Ottomans now, it makes me happy, but friends, I will go ahead and end the episode here, I'm going to do a bit of economic stuff and then that will be it. And then the next episode, we'll be moving on. So please do remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I am Otogadius Magnus, and I'm signing out.